the winner of Shannon's Supercar Showdown is... Jessie. When Jessie Dixon was declared the winner of reality TV show Shannon's Supercar Showdown, it changed his life forever. This is the story of how the 19-year-old Queenslander beat all comers to claim his prize of racing in the 2012 Super Chief Auto Bathurst 1000. It's a dream come true. You know, I've been dreaming about racing Bathurst ever since I was a kid. We'll also take you behind the scenes as Jesse prepares for the big day and ultimately fulfills his dream of competing at Bathurst. Three months before the Super Chief Auto Bathurst 1000, ten hopeful up-and-coming drivers were invited to Kelly Racing. Welcome, everyone. You are the lucky few chosen to compete in this year's Shannon's Supercar Showdown. Rick and Todd were searching for someone who would represent them in the Shannon's Carsales.com.au Racing V8 Supercar. That's wicked. Jesse Dixon walks through the door brimming with confidence. I think I've got what it takes. I'm ready to go. Bring it on. But the very first challenge, a basic driving test, oh. brought him crashing down to earth. Before I knew it, it had turned green and I'd got a beat from behind. OK, unfortunately, we're unsuccessful today. Yeah. <sighs> Jesse. Jesse found himself in the bottom two. Two drivers I look up to, and I'm in their bottom two. It's not good. But his luck was in. Neither of you will be going home. You're both safe for now. Thanks. I walk out of the elimination room. I feel like I've got something to prove. In the next elimination challenge, the Kelly boys asked the candidates to show consistency on the Broadford circuit. You went all right. Thanks, mate. Yeah, Jesse's got a lot to prove in that challenge, and to be honest, you know, we all give him grief, but he's the most prepared person here for this competition. Thrill seeker Adrian Cottrell went hell for leather. And went home. Please step forward. Yeah, all of a sudden it hits me that I'm going home and I'm pretty devastated, really. At Brit's base camp, Jesse pulled out his secret weapon. I've got a little notebook here. People's names, looking Todd's date of birth. You never know. It does definitely come in handy. Having a pen and paper in your hand at, at times where no one else does. I'm sharing a motor home with Jesse and he's super serious, so I think he's one to watch. Jesse's first solo win of the series came during week three of the competition. Jesse's out there nailing it right now. It's so cool. I wasn't too surprised that Jesse took it out when I saw him in the car. That kid is so determined. My father passed away when I was 12. He died from cancer. Cars, motorsport, racing, it was our thing. Towards the end of my father's illness, my mum told me that she would um, help me get into karting and after months and months of just no positivity, it put a smile on my face. I'm back my helmet, I've got my father there. Later that week, a slip up in the braking challenge. You're doing 105. And it was Sarah Harley's turn to say goodbye. It wasn't meant to be like this, was it? <laughs> The roller door opens. It's a simulated challenge. <laughs> in the fourth week, Jesse and roommate Andre went head to head in the reward challenge. <laughs> Later that week, Bathurst legend Jim Richards guest judged for the driver change elimination challenge. There's definitely going to be some more pressure in this one. The roommates buddied up again. 
I'm happy with that. Next to compete were Texas Ed and Sydney cider Samantha Stevens. Ready, let's go. So I've exited pit lane, gone to second. We were meant to be in first gear in pit lane. Samantha. It ended in a teary exit for rally champion Sam. I feel sorry for her, you know, she's been doing a great job. It's uh, sad to see her go, but that's one less competitor down for me, so. Single-minded Jesse kept his eyes on the prize. This is where it really counts, and I've got to perform my best, and I want to win this thing. I feel alive. Week five saw the contestants face a gruelling fitness challenge. You guys ready? Three, two, one, start. Records tumbled in the plank hold. That's 15 minutes right there. Make the final, brother. 20 kilo weight hold. Tough it out. It's a showdown. Oh, good job. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> right, let's go. And the torturous beat test. All right, Mac. I think that's you. With his opponents dropping all around him, Jesse was last man standing. Oh, Jesse, this is awesome. <laughs> so much faster without a shirt. Come on, Jesse. Let's go. I kept running after everyone's finished. I wanted to prove my fitness level and my willpower as well. Red actually does go faster. <laughs> was on to win Shannon's Supercar Showdown and score a ride at Bathurst. In the fifth week of the competition, the heavens opened. Go! Oh! He owes a new clutch. And superstar Jack LeBrock was sent packing. I cannot believe you're going home. Oh, hey. Radio station. Radio, huh? Jesse was proving that he could talk the talk. It's been very exciting the last few weeks. We've been doing some pretty cool challenges and um, having a lot of fun. Then, having meticulously studied for the skid tyre challenge, he walked the walk. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> Next with the chop was fashion designer Ryle Harris. I am rather annoyed. There's no doubt in my mind that I have more natural ability than the guys left in the competition, but I didn't show it. Wow, our final five, looking good. Welcome to Sandown Raceway. In week seven, Jesse pushed himself harder than ever. Coming up to one of the chicanes, I'm really heavy on the brakes, and I'm thinking, oh, am I going to make it? Am I going to make the corner? I decide, rather than taking out the cones, I'm going to stop the car, grab first, and take off again. His race thinking won favour with Rick Kelly. You made the right decision. Like, you could have got there and gone, oh, I'm going to try and turn the corner yeah. and destroy everything, you know? Yeah. So you knew what to do. You stopped the car and went, which is very good. All right, thanks, Matt. Thanks very much. Thanks, Matt. Please step forward. Week seven's elimination blindsided everyone. Andrew. And Ed. Where did that come from? Double elimination. Yeah, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Just completely wow. The final three, Andre, Glenn, and Jesse, arrived at Winton Raceway and saw the Shannon's car sales.com.au V8 supercar. And the thing just looks awesome. What I like about it, it's one of the only green cars out there, so it's definitely going to stand out. In Jesse's first lap ever in a supercar, the V8 stood out for all the wrong reasons. Deeper under brakes into turn one, and I lock up. I've wrecked it. I've stuffed it. I'm going home. Bit of a mishap. Yeah. By all rights, Jesse should have been travelling back to Queensland. 
but Rick and Todd delivered a final fantastic twist. No one will be going home. You're both safe. Mm. But you guys are in for one hell of a shot. In a most extraordinary semi-final, Series 1 sweetheart Sam Reed returned to stick it to the boys. Hey, guys. You know, Sam, she really held her own last year in the series, and she's uh, going to be tough to beat. But the wild card came unstuck. Whoa! Samantha. The prize of being on the grid at Bathurst is absolutely huge. I just hope these guys realise just what's within their reach. Leaving the original final three to battle it out. Jesse's Brit's base camp roommate, Andre, took to the wheel. I'm coming into the sweeper and I just go a little bit late. Oh, oh. he's off. What happened? Do a radio check, mate. A Victorian with racing in his blood, it was Glenn Wood's turn to rise to the challenge. You're one in three, you're just so close to your dream, you just don't want to muck up. I'm coming into turn 11. I've gone too deep on the brakes. I'm locking the front all the way up. Come on, Glenn. Yeah, that, that hurt me, but... I think the lap was OK, I don't know. OK. We'll check the time. Good right. job, anyway. Next up, Jesse's. It's awesome to be the final three, and I'm sure my dad would be proud of where I am today. I could be racing at Bathurst this year. After a closely fought challenge, finally the words the Queenslander has been waiting three months to hear. The winner of Shannon's Supercar Showdown is... Jesse. Congratulations. Thanks, Good job. Well done. This day has finally come. It's a childhood dream for my whole my whole life to drive a supercar, and that day is in sight. Next time you see this big Mack truck, it'll be parked up at Bathurst ready for the race. After the break, Jesse Dixon and the Shannons CarSales.com.au racing team prepare themselves for the biggest racing event of the year. As is tradition in motorsport for the winner, here's your bottle of champagne. Enjoy. Well done, mate. <laughs> Winning the Shannon Supercar Showdown was the first step on Jesse Dixon's road to Bathurst. Counting down to the biggest race of his young life, he's getting some last minute tips from Rick Kelly. Well, here we are, Jesse. Two trucks all yep. packed, ready to go all the way up to Bathurst. What do you reckon? It's cool. It's very impressive. A week away from Bathurst now for your first ever start up there. How are you feeling? A um, bit nervous, but really excited. We'll talk you through it. By the time yep. Sunday comes, you'll be, uh, you'll be brand new, all comfortable and, uh, and ready for the race. Awesome. Yeah, I've never been there before in a race car. I've yeah. been there as a spectator the past few years, camping on top of the mountain, so yeah. it's going to be a whole different world this time. After competing at Bathurst ten times and winning the race twice, Rick understands the challenges facing Jesse better than anyone. Don't try and go mm. too quick too soon, because if you do scare yourself, like we all do around that place from time to time, it'll, it'll be a, you know, a long road to getting your confidence back. How often do you actually stick to plan A in a race like this? Plan A goes out the window normally in the first 15 laps. Yeah, yep. And like I say, it's the team that can react to those issues quickest and, and in the best possible way yeah. that normally comes out on top. Yes. Let's go and have a look how we should attack the weekend. Cool. But first things first. Before we check out the vision, mate, I just want to give you your official team jacket. 
Yep, cool, look at that. And the helmet that you get to wear as a winner for Shannon's carsales.com.au racing. What do you think? That is awesome. Thanks very much, mate. It's cool, isn't it? Yep. Well done. Come and check out the vision, mate. Sounds good. All right, mate, let's have a look. In preparation for the big race, Rick is reviewing footage of Jesse in action. So what we've just seen there, mate, is the lap that showed you as the winner of Shannon's Supercar Showdown for, for 2012. Very impressive. And what we need to remember is that the challenge before that, you came from one of the biggest mistakes on the TV series where you went off at one of the fastest corners at Winton. And what really impressed us was your ability on the same day to turn that around, get your head back together and be able to perform like that. After getting the rev up from Rick, it's time to hit the workshop and help put the finishing touches to the shannonscarsales.com.au V8 supercar. Looking good, mate. Oh, just in time, mate. Come and grab a paddle and help me put these car cells on. Get in this side of it. Well done. Jump in the car and get a feel for it. Sounds good. Time for a bit of last minute revision of the supercar's controls. We've got uh, the pit limiter on the left here, radio on the right. Up here we've got shift lights. When they all come up, it'll flash and it'll tell you exactly when to shift. We've got a lot of tools we can help to, to adjust the car to how we feel is, is best and you know to help us go as fast as we can. And speaking of going fast. All right, it's time to load the car into the truck and hit the road to Bathurst. Now, just a 10-hour road trip stands between Jesse and the starting grid at Mount Panorama. For a closer look at the Shannon's Car Sales V8 Supercar and Jesse's journey, head to our website at shannonsupercarshowdown.com.au where you'll also find plenty of other behind-the-scenes footage, including some very glamorous shots of our proud series winner. For Jesse Dixon, the road to Bathurst has been a bumpy one. Hey guys, we're, uh, we're almost to Bathurst. There's cars everywhere, the town's packed. There it is, Mount Panorama. <laughs> Where's Jesse's girl? Before he's even had time to soak up the atmosphere of the 50th anniversary race, it's down to signing autographs with co-driver Cam Waters. As the winner of Shannon's Supercar Showdown 2012, he's already picked up a few fans. Go, but they'll have to make way for Jesse's number one supporter, his mum. I cheer up when I see him out there on the track. Seeing his name up there amongst his heroes' names, it was, it's just so surreal, actually. She's here to celebrate Jesse's amazing journey, along with his brother. To watch my younger brother race is a dream come true for our whole family, but especially Jesse. After crashing the car last year, 18-year-old Cam is aiming for a better result this time around. I've got a bit of experience this year, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, Jess, you're here. Yeah. The last time we spoke was at Winton. When yeah. you won it's the, time for uh, a drive. final pep talk from Jim Richards. Right. If anyone's giving you a hard time, and, and you can see in the mirror that they're absolutely getting, getting desperate, yeah. you're better to let them pass yeah. and then latch onto the back of them. 161 laps. You've got to be there at the end. You know, you're not going to win it, but you can finish it, and I can guarantee if you finish it, you won't be last. Yeah. It's the last night before Bathurst, and feeling good. I'm just going to get a good night's sleep and wake up all refreshed and ready to have a big day. The big day has arrived for the Shannon's car sales team. With a combined age of just 38, Jesse and Cam are the youngest driver pairing ever to take part in the Bathurst 1000. About to get in the car, not long to go. At last, the moment they've been waiting for. Yeah, 
it's a long seven hours for Jesse's family as they watch the action from the pit. Sticking like glue to their game plan, neither driver has made a mistake so far. In the closing stages, Cam has clawed his way up to 20th place. Can he hang on? Finishing the race was the, the ultimate goal, but to get a top 20 result is just incredible for us. So, go over the moon, over the moon. So bloody proud of my brother, he's done such a good job. Him and Cam have finished the Bathurst 1000 as the youngest team ever. As Cam recovers from his gruelling ride, Jesse is full of praise for his co-driver. Cam did a great job all day. He did great times, really consistent, no mistakes. Uh, we made a really good pairing. Overall, it's been a pretty good outing. Just an incredible day. Yeah, loving it, loving being here.